Say hello, everybody. Hi. Hey. Howdy. Here we are in the Blackstone 22-inch Whitefish Lake. Let's zoom in down there. Look at that. That's beautiful Whitefish Lake up here in northwestern Montana. Got some bacon here on the Blackstone. Gonna do some burgers, some buns, or some cheddar cheese, some onions that I'll saute up. Gonna use local Alpine Touch seasoning, of course. Hello, Sam. How are you doing, buddy? Lubbock, Texas, Mr. 19. Howdy, partner. Justin, you need to come to Michigan. Thanks for watching, Justin. So I've turned this burner off altogether right there because my bacon is finished. Well, almost all the way finished. I don't want that to burn up. We're going to let that hang out right there. Go back over to this side of the griddle and get ready to cook these delicious burger patties. So here's the Alpine Touch. This is great. They make it in Montana. All natural seasoning with sea salt. Stuff is great for doing uh, beef, steaks, burgers. So we use it every time we're up here in Montana. Let's go ahead and season these up. Look at that. We have garlic and onion and there's black peppercorns in there. All right, we'll go ahead throw a few of these patties down these are huge got these at Costco and Kalispell today look at the size of those Justin says I'll take a PBR Brad come to Michigan unknown soldier howdy from Australia Australia it's an honor that you're watching all the way from Australia look at that Oh yeah, we're just taking it easy here on vacation, but I figured I'll try to go live here. I'm not sure what the quality of the Wi-Fi is, but we'll try to go live. Yeah, look at the size of those burgers. Gregory says hello from Georgia. Hello, Gregory. I'm honored that you're watching. And again, check out the view here. Burgers sizzling. Waconia Prepper just cooked on my 36 for the first time and the burgers were fantastic. Look at the size of those burgers. Of course, you can press these down on top of the Blackstone because we're not worried about flaring up. We're going to sear these burgers up. Let's see, Mr. 19 says, Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to you as well. Jeff Klein, hey Todd, I'm a big fan. Thanks for the videos, Jeff. I'm a big fan of the fact that you're a big fan and I really appreciate it and I don't take my subscribers lightly. I really appreciate it. Been on YouTube for a long time and uh, there's a lot of luck involved. You know, I've been trying hard for years and it uh, seems though lately, the last year or so, Blackstone griddling videos are really popular. So I'm 
very thankful that you're watching. Look at those burgers. Look at that steam. And look at that beautiful view of Whitefish Lake up here in Montana. Richard says, looking great. Hello, Richard. Thanks for watching. Ronnie. Hello, Todd. I'm looking to buy a 22 tabletop. I cooked 32 burgers and 80 hot dogs at Vacation Bible School on my Blackstone. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to you, too, as well, Ronnie. I just missed the, the last person that chimed in. Your comment disappeared. There's the Blackstone. Bacon on the side. And gigantic burger patties from Costco. Richard, this is Richard, and I love your videos. I talk to you 17-inch, uh, I got 22-inch, <laughs> and then the message disappeared. So we've got some sesame seed rolls over here. Onions. Mr. 936. Jake, the boss, says, hey, Todd, can you cook in pots on the griddle and you can you sure can you're not going to get the same control you would over a burner so like if you were using the tailgater and you just put a pot you know over the burner you can have a little bit of control but when you put the pots down on top of like the 36 inch griddle the 22 inch griddle you're not going to get as much control you're really going to have to move them and set them off to the side but i've done it before i've seen people do it before um I saw a restaurant do it once where they had little hotel pans set up with sauces. And so just know that you're not going to get, you know, fine uh, control, though. Richard got the new 17. Ronnie, congratulations on the sixth child. Thank you, Ronnie. We are excited. Jake says, awesome. Thank you. I'm planning on using it for camping. Yeah, Ronnie, if you watch my video back in uh, March, I think, right before St. Patrick's Day, I did a video, and it was called Reuben, I think. Yeah, Reuben, uh, Philly Reuben cheesesteak. So I took a Reuben sandwich and mixed it with a cheesesteak, and I had a little uh, seasoned steel skillet on the side of the griddle. And I used it to melt the cheese, so you can get an idea of that. Blue suit. When are you coming to Los Angeles? I don't know. I just got back from North California. Blue suit. I was out there last week. So um, if you guys check it out, I have a few videos up from that, and I'll upload more in a few weeks when we're done from vacation. Mr. Ohm says, I'm running at 17, and I use something. <laughs> but the messages keep disappearing when new ones come in, so... If I get that message back, I'll answer it. If you're just joining me, welcome. We've got the Blackstone 22 inch. We've got some bacon there, some gigantic burger patties. And I use small corningware dishes to cook in, Jake, so that's a good idea. Uh, G. Sorrow says, two more kids and you'll have your own show on TLC. Yes, I suppose we could. Jonathan, hello. Uh, Mr. 19 Ward, where did you get the bacon? I got it down at Safeway in Kalispell here today. Um, bacon was really expensive up here in Montana, let me tell you that. Kids are over there having some fun. There's our transit van. Paul says, next time you're in Boston, you'll have to come out on the Harbor Patrol. Oh, man, I love it. If that's an invite, don't forget me. Uh, Mr. 19 says, wow. Look at that, guys. Again, that's the view here. We are up in Whitefish, Montana. This is where my father-in-law grew up. And so I've been really blessed. Um, my wife and I have been married for 12 years. And a neat little blessing on the side is we get to come up here every other year or so. I've been up here probably seven, eight times up in Whitefish, Montana. We'll be hanging out in Glacier National Park, which is literally just... 25 miles that away breathtaking so i hope to be doing some videos up there robert hello hello robert when you come into los angeles i'm not sure tree stand says jim abraham says hi from north carolina hello to you jim robert hello robert garcia i believe it said here i'll walk you guys down 
try to show you a little bit of the view here on the lake. So my wife's grandmother has lived here for a very long time. And this is the view from her yard. I mean, this is, it really is a jewel. Look at this. We are way up in northern Montana. And if you look way up there, the mountains, way up there in the distance, that's all in Canada. That's in Alberta. Memphis. Why are you coming to Memphis? Oh, boy, I wish I could. Jake says, I also, I have used those white plastic fishing fillet tables, Jake. And I've, I've actually set uh, griddles on them. So if that's what you're asking for. Uh, no, you're fine. You can set it. The bottom of the griddle doesn't really generate much heat at all. I'm on a wood table tonight, as you can see. But uh, bottom of the griddle, not too bad. There's rubber legs, see? And so those rub all the heat. You can put your hand on those, and they're cool. Up here, it's hot. But down here, on the rubber legs, they are cool to the touch, and you can set them on the plastic lifetime tables and things like that. Woo. My bacon is probably getting to be extra crispy here, so I'm gonna pull that off and set it down right here. Some good looking bacon. Hard to hold the camera and do this myself. There we go, that's some good looking bacon. So We'll set that aside right there. Look at that. That's that's worthy of a close-up, isn't it? Not bad for a live picture. Bacon and burgers. JB Cooking. I'm not sure I think uh, you can buy that griddle stand on Amazon. I think I was told that recently. Of course, Walmart is selling the package deal right now. Look at the sear on that burger. You can buy the 22 inch like this standalone at blackstoneproducts.com. And you can use my discount code if you want to buy the 22 inch. Of course, go to blackstoneproducts.com and had that ask a question the other day. He said, Your discount code isn't working, but he said he typed, tried typing my name in with spaces Todd, space, Tobin, space, 10 space. No, no all together Todd Tobin 10 and just type that in all right so that's what the burgers are looking like one of them broke apart there but let's take some more of my alpine touch and we'll season those up These gigantic burgers. Of course, we have the, the rear grease dripping away there. Check it out. You guys know I love the regular griddles with the front grease, and we all know they had limitations, but they were an amazing griddle. But obviously, the new rear grease is an incredible improvement. So people keep asking me, how's the new rear grease? There's your answer. It's amazing. Let's move these burgers away and uh, got all that bacon grease in here. Gonna throw down these onions that I just diced up. Press those burgers down a little bit. Kevin Lincoln says, hey, Todd. Hey, Kevin Lincoln, man. Good to hear from you. Hopefully you're enjoying your 22-inch. Kevin Lincoln is one of my followers from out New Jersey. I want to film part of our brand new Blackstone infomercial. If you guys haven't seen the new Blackstone infomercial, hopefully you're seeing that. It's 30 minutes long. It's starring all kinds of professional talent. And I was actually in about 60 seconds of it. But that was pretty exciting. I've never been in, you know, an infomercial before there's the onions everyday barbecue i'm taking the weekend off no griddling till next weekend that's a good idea there's the delicious onions some olive oil whoops got to take the cap off olive oil 
Average Joe, Todd, I love your videos, and I own every Blackstone product thanks to you. Man, Joe, Average Joe, thank you for watching. Tree Stan Will says, heck, you're the face of Blackstone and you only got 60 seconds. <laughs> thank you for being my advocate. Happy Father's Day from Everyday Barbecue. Man, thank you. Happy Father's Day to you as well. Look at those onions. Look at that. Onions. We're sauteing those up in the bacon grease. Let me see if I can go get my wife to help me out here. Hello there, Grandma June. How are you? <laughs> hey, kids. How are you? Can I get some help, please? Yeah, I'm getting some help here. Sure. <laughs> All right. I'm begging for help here. My hands are greasy. All right. My wife is going to come out here and help me with the camera a little bit. All right. We've been going for 18 minutes. I'm going to get a little help here. So I can talk. My hand's greasy. Hello, Todd looks great. Hello, Jake. My wife, Kim, who, of course, is expecting our sixth kiddo right there. Hi. Right there. <laughs> Hello, Kim. Hi. Here, can you hold that? Yeah. And let me, if it does happen to get disconnected, let me know. And then you can read the okay. comments if you can. Okay. Hello, everybody. All right, now we can cook. So we have the bacon here. You can read the comments if you want to. Okay. Keep commenting. It's pixelated. Oh, lovely. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks for the feedback on that, guys. We'll probably keep this short then. You never know. You know, when I do these uh, live ones, sometimes the Wi-Fi connection is good and sometimes it's terrible. So apparently it's terrible. So if somebody else can let me know, let me know if it's pixelated or not. And if so, I'll just, we'll just tune out and call this quits right now because the low quality drives me nuts. But so, I have enjoyed talking to y'all. You killed the lake? Yes, I sure did. Yeah, yes, out. Average Joe says congrats on the new addition to the family, and yes, it is blurry, and okay. Sam says it's blurry. Yep. All right, then, guys. Well, I appreciate you watching, so uh, we, I don't want to torture you with the low quality. I've been enjoying the conversation, so uh, can you press end on there, stop? Yep. And we'll just call it quits then. Levi. Hey, Levi. Can you say, say hi? You say bye? Levi. <laughs> say bye. <laughs> bye bye. What do you do, bye? Just X? Thanks, bye.